several caskets to the noble prince. Now make your choice. The spurs of gold, who this inscription bears, who chooseth me shall gain what may men desire. The second, silver, which this promise carries, who chooseth me shall get as much as he deserves. This third, dull lead, with warning all is blunt, who chooseth me must give and hazard all he hath. How shall I know if I do choose the right? One of them contains my picture. If you choose that, then I'm yours. Never so rich a gem was said in worse than gold. They have in England a coin that bears the figure of an angel stamped in gold, and that's in sculpted upon. But here, an angel in a golden bed lies all within. Deliver me in my key. Here do I choose, and thrive me as I may. There, take it. And if thy form lie there, then I am yours. Oh, hell, what have we here? A carry out of death with a scroll on its empty eye? I shall read it. All that glitters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. <sighs> Cold indeed, and labor lost. Then farewell heat, and welcome frost. Portia, adieu. I have grieved a heart to take a tedious leave. Therefore, loser's heart. A gentle riddance, go. Let all of his complex complexions choose thee so. <laughs> Behold, there stands the casket's Nobel Prince, and if you choose that where I am contained, straight shall our nuptial rites be solemnized. But if you fail without more speech, my lord, you must be gone from hence immediately. And so I have addressed me, fortune now to my heart's hope. Gold, silver, and base lead, let none presume to wear an undeserved dignity. Oh, that estates, degrees, and offices were not derived correctly, and that clear honor were purchased by the merit of the wearer. Well, but to my choice. Who chooseth me shall get as much as he deserves. I will assume desert. Bring me the key, and let me unlock my fortunes within. Too long a pause of what you find there. What's this? The portrait of a blinking idiot? Presenting me a schedule? I will read it. How much unlike art thou to Portia? How much unlike my hopes and my deservings? Who chooseth me shall get as much as he deserves. Did I deserve no better than a fool's head? Or is this my prize? To offend and judge are distinct offenses and of opposed natures. Still more fool I shall appear by the time I linger here. With one fool's head I came to woo, but now I go away with two. Sweet, ad sweet adieu, I'll keep my oath patiently to bear my robe. Oh, these deliberate fools. When they do choose, they have the wisdom by their wit to lose. Let me choose, for as I am, I live upon the rack. Away, then. I am locked in one of them. If you do love me, you will find me out. Thus, ornament is but the gilded shore to the most dangerous sea. The beauteous scarf veiling an Indian beauty. In a word, this seeming truth which cunning times put on to entrap the wisest. Therefore, thou gold, thou gaudy gold, hard food for Midas, I will none of thee. Nor none of thee, thou pale and common grudge. Tween man and man, but thou, thou meager lead, which rather threatenest than dost promise aught, thy paleness moves me more than elegance. And here to's I, joy be the consequence. What find I here? Fair Porce's counterfeit? What demigod hath come so near creation? Move thy eyes, move these eyes. You that choose not by the view, chance as fair and choose as true, since his fortune, fa fortune falls to you, be content and seek no new. If you be well pleased with this, and hold your fortune for your bliss, turn you where your lady is, and claim her with a loving kiss. Hearing applause and universal shout, giddy in spirit, still gazing in doubt. And what is mine to you, and yours is now converted. But now I was the lord of this fair mansion, master of my servants, queen or myself and even now but now the same myself and ours my lord i give you this ring <laughs>
chest, any chest, and select your fate. Dun dun dun. <laughs> well, let's just see here. This gold chest says that if I pick it, I'll get what many men desire. And this silver chest says that if I pick it, I'll get what I deserve. And this lead chest says that if I pick it, I'll have to give up all that I have. How will I know if I made the right decision? My picture is in one of these chests. If you picked correctly, then you could win a date with me, the bat. Hmm. Well, you're a valuable asset, and since gold is also valuable, I'm tempted to pick the gold chest. In England, they even have coins with angels inscribed in gold. So that makes me especially likely to pick this chest, since you're a living angel. All right, I've made my decision. Hand me the key and wish me luck. Good luck, bachelor number one. Dang it! What is this? A skull with a message in its eye? What does it say? All that glitters is not gold. You've heard this many times, so why did you still pick this chest? Well, this sucks. I guess I came on the show for nothing. Goodbye, fame. Hello, infamy and rejection. Well, bye, Portia. I really thought we would have been great together, but I guess I'll just leave in humiliation. See ya. Oh well, no one liked him anyway. Let him leave and let's get on with the show. Hello, bachelor number two. As you can see, we have three chests to choose from. If you pick the one with my picture in it, you get, you win the grand prize, a date with moi. <laughs> if you choose incorrectly, however, you must leave immediately and never return. Choose wisely. Uh, wish me luck. Let's see. Chests of gold, silver, ugh, and ugly lead. The silver one says that if I choose it, I'll get what I deserve. Hmm. I have land, money, education. I'm a pretty deserving guy. I choose a silver chest. Give me the key and let me win your heart. Are you sure? Yes. Is this your final answer? Yes. You're pretty quiet there for a winner. What the? What is this? A picture of an idiot doll and a piece of paper? What does it say? You are nothing like Portia. She would never claim to be deserving of riches, and you certainly do not deserve her. Is this all that I deserve? An idiot doll? Don't try to judge what you deserve. You look like a fool. That's definitely true. Now I look even stupider than this doll here. I came here with one fool's head, and now I have to leave with two. Well, I just have to leave in disgrace. I have nothing more to say. Bye. These men, how they act like fools. At least they leave without protesting. Oh well, let's bring on bachelor number three. <laughs> Let me take a turn. I bet I can choose correctly and win your heart. Go ahead. My picture is locked in one of these boxes. If you choose correctly, you win a date with me. Oh boy. <laughs> Well, gold is just a pretty object and seems like a materialistic trap. I won't choose gold. Silver is a commonality, and Portia, you are by no means a common woman. So I will not choose silver. But the simplicity of the lead chest intrigues me. I think I'm going to go with the lead chest. I'll risk everything I have for the chance of your heart. What is this? Fair Porce's portrait? Oh, God has made me so lucky to win such an angel. And a scroll. What does it say? You didn't choose what looked the prettiest, and for that you are wise. You are the winner! Congratulations! If you want your date with the bachelorette, you've got it. I'm so happy I can't believe I won!